Boris Mystery with Cheese. And I'm Zombacat. This is a review of the NECA Ultimate Stripe action figure from the movie Gremlins. And we already reviewed the Ultimate Gremlin, but this is Stripe. He's also a Gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty excited about him. I am too. I like the picture there. He's popping out, kind of popping out of the picture from the last Gremlins box. And then he's kind of screwing it up. See, there's the last picture. It's kind of like the Gremlins popping out and vandalizing it. So that's cool. But yeah, I like that cover. And the side and the top. The other side are all pretty much the same as the last one. But then on the back, it's got pictures of Stripe all over it. There's a bunch of popcorn. Up there, you can read the description of the movie. And then there's a little Velcro thingy there. And you can see a nice picture of Stripe there. And there's the figure in package. Which looks pretty cool. Well, let's open it up. Okay, there he is, opened up. He is pretty cool. But, similar to the Ultimate Gremlin, he's gonna need hair dryer did because some of his joints are really tight and afraid we're going to break them. Mostly around his legs. So we're going to have to hair dry them and get them loose. But he comes with three accessories. This chainsaw, which is really nice, really detailed. I'm pretty impressed with that. <laughs> yeah, I really like all the printing on it. And even a little plug. And then he comes with a skateboard, which is also really nice. It has moving wheels. It actually feels like what a skateboard should feel like. All rough up there. A little CMP brief. And then it comes with a little circular saw blade. Which I believe he throws in the movie. In the booby? In the movie! <laughs> right now, because his legs are kept, haven't been loosened up yet, I put a, a neck of stand on him. So he'll stand up. It doesn't come with him though. I do find it kind of odd that Stripe doesn't come with the handgun. But, uh, I don't know, maybe they have a future release coming up where he'll have the handgun. This seems like something he would have. I don't know. Okay, we used the hairdryer and loosened up his joints. But unfortunately, loosening up the joints made him a little too loose. Now he's hard to stand. But, still, I really like this figure. He is pretty damn cool. And he has a different sculpt on his head. They make him a little look a lot more evil than the other gremlins. Well, the other ones are smiling, so yeah. <laughs> they look, the not smiling helps. They look a little happier. <laughs> a little bit evil, but a little bit happier. And he just looks psychotic, and that's good. Well, that's like the box that says cute and mischievous, and he crossed that out because he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I think he's pretty cool. It does seem, the skin color seems to be a little different. Because, like, we did the review for him, the regular gremlin, it just seemed like this, it was mostly black, there wasn't much green there. It seems like you can see a little more green in him. It's just the tiniest bit, though. It's yeah. not a huge difference. It, this might be a problem with just ours, I'm not sure, but it almost looks like his face wasn't glued on all the way. Because you can see that gap right there, mm -hmm. but there's not one over here. So I don't know if that's on all of them or if that's just ours. And shove it in hard enough. Yeah. And I don't know. Same with the, the jaw. I don't know if it's... It seems like almost like it's crooked or something, but I'm not sure. Like we were talking like he's... I think he's making an expression, but... It almost looks like there's something crooked here. I don't know. Yeah, I can't tell. But he, despite that, he looks really good. I like his mohawk. I'm glad he made it out of real hair. It looks really nice. I'm guessing the body is probably the same as the other gremlin. I don't think they would change it. Yeah, it yeah, looks the all the same. But yeah, I would expect it to be. One thing with the mohawk though is... Really, it doesn't seem to me like it should go quite that far down. Plus it's loose, the whole end of it's loose because you have to be able to move his head. But it seems like it goes too far down. Yeah, we try to look up pictures to see 
how far it goes down. We couldn't find a good picture of the back from the movie to see how far it goes down his back. Well, it seems to me like it should just go to the bottom, bottom of his neck, sort of. Like right there. Because right now it looks a bit like a mullet. Yeah. I got to look. It's probably you can probably see it in the movie at some point, but it's hard to look up a specific. Like you can't look up the back of Stripe's head. Yeah. Like you're not gonna you're not gonna find a picture with that title. <laughs> Man, this figure's cool. We just I don't think it looks so much better than their original release of Stripe. We never got those ones. We never got the the original first movie Gremlins. Because they weren't very good. Yeah, they started. <laughs> we started getting them when the Gremlins two ones came out because they look so nice. Another taking a huge step further with these Gremlins. I and mean, there's so much detail on my face, like all this the skin and everything. It's really nice. Body's basically going to be the same as the other Gremlin. There's not really that much new to say about the body. I think it's probably the same hands and everything. It looks like yeah, even the same hands. This one was bent a little bit. Oh, this one almost looks like more of a gripping hand. So maybe that. Mm, yeah. I think his hand is a tiny bit different because that's the one he holds the. Uh... So here we look at the the uh, chainsaw a little closer. And it is like you're saying, it's pretty nice. I, I'm surprised by just how nice that is. Yeah. It's ridiculous. You got all those words on there that you can read them all, which is really nice. And we were both wondering if that's what it actually says in the movie, because the thing on the end of the blade's kind of pretty funny. <laughs> Nighttime tree cutting? Is that a thing? I think. <laughs> it says, serious business, Dave. <laughs> Heavy duty. What? <laughs> 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 what? what that's about. But okay. But, yeah, let's get it in his hand. <laughs> so there he is holding the chainsaw. It's pretty cool. The handle fits really well into that hand. I tried to put that hand over top, but I didn't want to hold it. So I put it underneath. That, that works fine. Although it's kind of twisted now. Well, there I got, got it over top there. So that works. But that's so cool. I like that chainsaw. It's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Makes for a very menacing looking pose. <laughs> and here's the saw blade. This looks pretty nice. And we're not sure how we're supposed to hold it, but you could stick it between his fingers like that. You could throw it that way maybe. I don't know if there's a better way. They show it different on the box. So the package, they just kind of show it like that, just kind of sitting up in his hand. It's just balanced there, though. But, I mean, if you're not going to move them, it'll be fine. And here's the skateboard. Like we said, it's got, like, the rough top on there. And then smooth on the bottom, painted to look like wood. And then, like, sort of, like, clear plastic wheels. And like all that metal part looks pretty good too. Mm -hmm. And he's having trouble standing, so how well we can get him on here. Once he cools down, he'll probably stand better. He probably could put his hand on the front, maybe, to help keep him on there. Like that or something. Hold up. <laughs> so there he is on the skateboard. It's hard to get him to stand because his legs are so loose now, but he's on it for now. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. He seems to be enjoying himself. <laughs> I mean, they're striped next to Mohawk from Gremlins 2. You can see they look very different, even though they're basically the same character. And that is the updated super awesome Mohawk yeah. figure. The original did not look that nice. No, but this one does look pretty cool. But yeah, the designs on the Gremlins are a lot different from movie to movie. Yeah, they look like completely different creatures. They're just the same shape. Yeah. One of the big noticeable differences between Mohawk and Stripe is the Mohawk. Because Stripe's is made of fur, and then Mohawk's is made of like this 
thin. It's very different. And uh, Mohawk has a lot more spikes on him. All these spikes all over his back and arms and even on his face. A lot more spikes. A lot more colors and spots on Mohawk also. Especially on his face. And his feet are a lot bigger. He's got the fins going down the arms. The backs are very different. So yeah, there's a lot of differences between them. Despite them being basically the same character. And there's a little gizmo next to the stripe. Eyeing him suspiciously. <laughs> <laughs> I love that expression. Mm -hmm. It makes me so happy. That one and sad gizmo are like two of my favorites. Yeah. And there's stripe next to two of the ultimate gremlins. Man, that's pretty cool to see him with them. Mm -hmm. You're just noticing the color around their eyes is a lot. There's a lot more yellow around the eyes of the two regular gremlins. Not sure if that's the way it's supposed to be or, or yeah, what. Yeah, it's there on him. It's just not as prominent. Yeah. And here's Stripe next to two of NECA's seven inch scale figures, Jason Voorhees and the Terminator. Obviously, he's not a seven inch scale figure. He's not in scale with these two. I'd say he's closer to fourth scale. So there he is next to NECA's fourth scale Catwoman. You can see he comes up to about her knee. So I'd say that's a lot closer. Okay, so I really like this figure. He is really, really cool. And uh, I'd say that, like, one of the weirdest things about him that might be a, sort of a gripe is the face. Is this seems like they didn't glue the top part of his mouth on all the way or something. It just made this lower jaw kind of crooked. So I don't know. We'd have to see another one in, in person to see if... See if they're all like that or yeah. it's just ours. Yeah. Other than that, I'm pretty impressed with them. I love the chainsaw and the skateboard and the saw blade is pretty cool too. I love his expression. The articulation is the same as the other Ultimate Kremlin, so that's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. It's not perfect. Like we said in that review, it would be nice for maybe a double jointed elbows or a cut. What would you say? Cut at the forearm? Yeah. Would help. But it's still the best articulation they've had yet. Yeah. So I'm, I'm still pleased with it, even though they, there's room for improvement. Mm hmm I like the real hair for his mohawk. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I really like this figure. I think he's pretty impressive. Honestly, I would say that my, my biggest gripe with all of them is that I wish they were a tiny bit lighter green. Yeah, that, that too. But, I mean, that's it. I mean, overall, they're really awesome, and I'm really happy they made them. Yep. And when that GameStop exclusive Gremlin comes out, the Gamer Gremlin, we'll be getting that one too, because he looks pretty awesome. I want that popcorn hat so much. <laughs> it makes me so happy. <laughs> well, this is Mr. T. And I'm the Cat. Thanks for watching. Go back. Well, I do want to mention that after we were done with the review and everything, and I was just posing him for some pictures, his leg just snapped. Broke right off. And I thought I had the uh, legs pretty loosened up, but I guess not. This one snapped. So that sucks. So I ended up swapping his head in this hand, which I think is different. Swapped it with the one of the ultimate gremlins we have, since we have two of them. This is the one with the little slightly crooked eye, so I figured once I find them in the store, I'll just swap them. You can also contact NECA, I guess, if one of them breaks, but I'm probably just going to wait till I find them in the store and just turn the broken one. But, yep, that's one thing to be careful about. The joints seem even the tiniest bit tight. Don't try to force them, because it could snap. Because it really didn't seem very tight, and I was just trying to move it, and it snapped. So, you got to be careful. Yes. Subscribe and eat. Ooh.